team. He's not pleased with the careless turnovers offensively, saying, listen, we've got to get shots. It's as simple as that. We have to play smart and value the basketball. Kevin did it sink in. Memphis leading by five. Here's Bosch. And Fareed sends it back. For three, Ross. And he gets the bucket. Guys, you will not see too many of those kind of threes in transition. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Mm, oh. Shot A. I like that, Greg. <laughs> Barnes again. Let's go bear. Five on the clock. Barnes kicks to Ellington. Another three for Chicago. It's been a tight one so far. Very close game. Well, seven lead changes kept in this one, and we could very well be seeing more. And matchups, it's really what it's all about, and these two teams are really equal. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Gasol is green on Thompson. Barnes kicks to Gasol. Good D by Thompson. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. It's a big high pounce and goes in. You know, I don't think that was the shot they had in mind, but they'll take it. Here's Ellington. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Just nice sprint there, and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, Greg, that would have been a heck of a buck. He nearly got it to go. Eric Bledsoe has checked in for Chicago. Yeah, look, you'd like to take the lead on that possession, but he, at least he was able to tie the game up. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Chicago making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. One thirty-five left in the fourth. Lillard, the best to Bosch. Harris outside. No good from outside. Here's Chicago. They're on a 10-2 run here. Good chance here for Barnes. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. And Thompson kicks to Lillard. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Key buckets, and we know he delivers down the stretch. Chicago leading. Bledsoe outside. Boss on the wing. Out to the wing. It's Gasol with the drive. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And so here's Memphis. Lillard outside. Thompson outside. Inside. And the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. Yeah, no doubt about that one with the over the back call. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to take him for a ride right there. Easy call. Gets the first net. We'll put them up by two. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. Game could be on the line right here. It's basically now or never for them. We're a tough position. This is exactly what happens when you allow Chris Bosch to get going. And the wide-open shot from Bledsoe. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. 
Bledsoe against Lillard. Gobert, the screen. Steps back and shoots. Oh, no good. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, if you're just joining us, the intensity has really heated up in this one. As we watch this one go now to overtime. So Memphis will get the first possession. And so they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So for Chicago right now, we've got Harris. Brandon Bass is out there with Mark Gasol. Then it's Terrence Ross, and it's Bledsoe, and it's the one spot. And Memphis making a change here. Lillard's checked in. Memphis trailing here. Harris, right side. To the paint. Rejected by Harris. Ross kicks to Bledsoe. Good on the shot. Assist from Bledsoe's got four this quarter. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. Lillard misses. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot. Wenzel kicks to Ross. Gobert brings the double team. Lock at six. Bass dishes to Harris. Outside for Bledsoe. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Chicago making a switch here. Fareed is checked in. Stolen by Fareed. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. Huge turnover there and at a bad time, too. You have to value every possession. Memphis trails by four. To the wing on the left. Back to Thompson. Fires for three. The shot is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. Well, overtime basketball, a minute and a half played so far. No good from Bledsoe. And so it's Memphis with it. And the basket by Harris. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. Lillard, the pass to Harris. Back to Lillard. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And that's 11 points for Damian Lillard. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Man, what a turnaround. Sensational play on D and then the rapid fire run to the basket. Play. They didn't wait around, did they? They went right for the throat. Guys, this is crunch time now. When you got a chance to capitalize on the turnover, you've got to take it and make it. And here's the fast break. Ross leading the way. Three on three. Memphis moving it around. Harris outside. And Gobert kicks to Bosch. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Lillard misses. Overtime has become do or die time. An empty possession here, and I think they're finished. Those are huge points. Beyond huge, partner. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. To the inside. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Gasol. Another tie, and we're going to have a second overtime. And we'll be back with you right after this. Welcome back to overtime basketball in what has been a tremendous battle so far. We're going to keep this one going. 
So in Chicago now, passes it to Bledsoe. Over in the corner, Barnes. Here's Caldwell Pope. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. That's one he knows he should have drained. Thompson dishes to Harris. And Gobert kicks to Jennings. Gobert with a screen on Barnes. It's Jennings with the drive. Thompson misses. You know, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. You know, Barnes is playing well. He has 15 points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. <laughs> and I'm sure they'd like There's to get a few more of those out of him. Barnes hits them both. Now here's Jennings. And Chris Bosch with the slam. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely threw that one down. Fareed. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Boy, Gasol with a punishing pick that time. Jennings passes to Thompson. He dishes it to Gobert. They get the rebound. Thompson up top. Outside Jennings. Misses the three. Chicago leading. Down low. Here's Fareed. Gobert with the block. And Thompson kicks to Bosch. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player putting an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. Damian Lillard's checked in for Brandon Jennings. Ross is checked in for Chicago. And stolen by Barnes. Boss against Terrace. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Guys, untidy. You've got to value the possession of the basketball. Simply put, out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Bloodso kicks to Ross. Back to Bloodso. Now the dish to Ross. Nails the train. Well, I like the way they're sharing the ball and Bledsoe right in the middle of spreading it around. Here's Gobert. And Fareed sends it back. Bledsoe kicks to Fareed. And a strong finish with two hands. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. It's going to take something special for them to come back now. Well, I would say something special and some luck as well, or good fortune, however you want to phrase it. Here's Chicago. Three-point lead. Alert again. Bloodsoe. Gasol kicks to Bloodsoe. Six to shoot. To the middle. Ross with a wide-open look to answer back, but that three is off the mark. A three-pointer here might have us headed to another overtime period. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. For the win. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. So a close game sees Memphis take this one.
Clark, a double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going